Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla, here to talk to you today about the new tech Tubeless Tubeless tire system. You should be looking into a tubeless tire system if you are sick and tired of pinch flats and you want to try something a little bit different that's a little more innovative than your standard tire tube. These are currently being made for all sorts of bikes, really. I mean, you've got an 18-inch version, a 19-inch, and a 21-inch version. So what that tells me is we're going to see these largely on dirt bikes and some dual sports as well. Installation on these is not terribly difficult. It's no more difficult than your average tire install, so I'm going to say it's probably a one to two beards on our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty, depending on what you're working with. While it's the same level of difficulty as a standard tube type tire installation, it is quite a bit different. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. First though, let's get into the product itself though. So every now and then a product comes along that I would say might be categorized as revolutionary. And I think the tubeless tire system might be one of those products simply because it does things so much differently than the standard accepted technology that we've been using for really about 100 years at this point. What the tubeless tire system does is converts your standard tube type dirt bike tire and wheel combination into one that is completely tubeless, thus making flats really a thing of the past. And we'll talk about why in just a second. But first, before we get right into things, let's sort of discuss some of the history of off-road motorcycles. So I've got a dirt bike wheel sitting up here if you take a peek. And one of the things you might realize is any serious off-road machine will usually have spoked wheels. You almost never find a cast wheel on a really serious off-road bike simply because in the event of any type of a, a, an impact occurring to the wheel itself, a spoke rim will tend to bend or twist and flex and can usually be kind of hammered back into shape to get off of the trail. Cast wheels, that's not usually the case. Usually they're good up until so much impact, at which point they fracture catastrophically and it's usually not something that's repairable. So because of that, we're going to see nothing but spoked wheels on dirt machines. And if you ever have taken a peek at a dirt wheel, you'll notice here too, the spokes obviously come through the rim. They're physically what hold the rim to the hub. However, each one of these spoke holes you can see on here is an egress point for air. Air can come into or come out of here. As such, a tire cannot be tubeless because this is not a sealed part of the tire chamber. So what we do is on standard tires, normally we've seen tubes inside them. So if you take a look here, you'll notice this tube actually inflates to fill up the entire area inside of the tire and it butts right up against the wheel. There's normally some rim tape laid in here. However, what it's doing is filling the void there, help giving the tire some shape, as well as insulating the air from possibly leaking out from these points here where the spokes come through the wheel. The problem with this, of course, is when you do actually puncture a wheel or tire, especially off-road, it becomes insanely difficult to, to uh, and inconvenient to repair the tire. Unlike a tubeless tire where you can simply repair it externally, you actually do have to get to the tube itself, which means taking the wheel off of the bike, dismounting the tire, repairing or replacing the tube, and then reassembling anything. Especially trail side, that can cause you know, quite a bit of time loss, takes a little while, not to mention the fact you do need to bring quite a few tools with you out on the trail. Enter the tubeless system. So this is kind of a little bit different. So let me set this wheel aside for just a moment and we'll talk about how the tubeless system actually works. So if you take a peek at this, those of you with eagle eyes who bicycle might notice this looks remarkably similar to a bicycle tire and tube setup. And really, if you thought that, you wouldn't be too terribly far off. So let's take this thing apart. We'll talk about the pieces that comprise this. Each tubeless system is going to come with two separate pieces here. So you'll notice I've got this black inner bladder right here. And this black inner bladder actually is a super high pressure bladder. It's going to run over 100 PSI. And what that's going to do is give body and shape to the red insert, which you can see here. Now, the red insert is basically adding an extra air chamber to your average dirt bike wheel and tire assembly. So with that black insert inside of this thing, we're gonna get two benefits out of having the red insert tubeless tire inside there. So first we do get, again, that additional air chamber. This is going to serve to seal up all of the spoke holes and isolate those from the, the air chamber of the tire itself. The other thing that's kind of cool that you're not gonna get from any type of conventional system is the fact that this is also, because it's locked in there at 100 PSI, gonna act as a 360 degree bead lock. So when this is actually inside the tire with the insert inside of it, this is going to sandwich the beads of the tire. You can see right here, those beads will be sandwiched between the edge of the red insert as well as the actual rim itself, your tire and wheel assembly. So what those are going to do is act as a lock all the way around. Those of you guys who run bead locks know that they're 
four, maybe five inches long if you've got a really big one. And that's as much locking power as you're gonna get. Imagine this pair of bead locks that's running all the way around the beads of both tires. You are never ever going to be able to pull a tire and wheel off of a rim with a setup like that. Now what does that mean for you guys as riders? It means that you've eliminated the two main problems that come along with dirt bike wheels being spoked. You can now treat tires as having their own separate air chamber. So you'll notice again if we come back to this bladder here, you'll notice there's actually a valve in the bladder as well as a valve on your red insert itself. So this valve in the bladder, that's your high pressure valve that is going to, again, stay locked in at over 100 PSA to lock things down. But if you'll notice the valve on the red insert, this goes from outside the wheel and tire and actually passes directly through the red insert. And what that's doing is feeding the chamber inside of the tire itself. So you've got a separate low pressure area there inside of your tire. Now, those of you guys who've ever run a tire really, really low, you may have actually spun your wheel inside your tire. You do actually wind up damaging the tube, you rip the valve stem off there, and you now have a flat. Well, with your, with your red insert locking your tire to your wheel, that's no longer a concern. And because there's now a separate air chamber, it means that a tubeless system lets you air your tires way, way down. Those of you guys rocking 12, 13 pounds, maybe even a little bit farther south into that 10 region, and maybe you're concerned because you do catch the occasional flat, you do wind up ripping your valve stems off, or those of you guys who catch pinch flats, again, not quite enough air in there to keep from rolling off of the, off of the wheel itself, you don't have to have that concern anymore. Because these things are locked in, and again, because you have that separate tire um, chamber, that air chamber inside the tire, you can run pressures really, really low. Four pounds is not uncommon at all. And tubeless themselves actually recommend and say you can run zero PSI. You can run absolutely flat if you have a six ply tire. You can also reduce your speed severely. What does this mean? It means if you've got the truck 15 miles away and you're buried in the woods, you don't have to actually change your tire. You can simply run out on a flat tire. And again, there are going to be some of you, we've seen this before, folks who are actually going to elect to run at zero PSI. What it does is allows extreme tire flex, much like a, a trials tire will conform to an object, to a rock, to a branch, to a tree root. You're going to get the exact same performance out of your favorite dirt tire because you can now run it with much less air than normal. So at this point, we should probably chat just a little bit about insulation. Now, when we talk about installing these things, things are a little bit different. As I mentioned earlier, I would say the entire process is probably similar to installing a tube tire in a, or a tube into a tube type tire, but it is not the same process, just a similar level of difficulty. So the first thing that has to happen is you obviously need two holes. Why? Because we have both that high pressure valve as well as the low pressure valve, it means you're gonna need two holes inside of your wheel. So if you check this thing out here, this wheel's already been drilled for. We've got one hole here, four spokes away, we have another hole. That is absolutely mandatory. So if you do not want to drill a hole in your wheel, you are probably not going to be able to use a tubeless system. Now, when it comes to the installation itself, they even include a handy dandy guide plate for you. This is going to help you install these things on here. Effectively, what you're going to be doing though, you're installing your low and your high pressure uh, chambers to your wheel, and then your whole wheel assembly gets installed inside of the tire. It's a little bit different than the normal setup. Now, Tubeless does not include instructions with these products. You should know that. They actually have very detailed videos on their website. There's a series of them. They're very good, very short fast and easy to watch, but really I actually do like their use of video. Watching somebody perform the act definitely helps you understand exactly how you have to do things. It's important because these are uh, these do require a careful installation. You can't just be sort of shoddy. I know I've been victim of jamming a tube into a tire, kind of half-assing on the side of the road. That's not something you want to do when you're installing a tubeless system. Now keep in mind that careful garage work is going to save you from having to do that trail side repair in the first place. So it kind of does make sense there. A couple other things to think about with respect to the installation. Tubeless Ac or NewTek actually encourages with the tubeless system using tire slime in there. It helps seal things up. Remember, these tires you're seeing here aren't necessarily made to hold air. The liners and beads were not necessarily designed for that. So you will be checking your tire pressure frequently. However, we find that most off-road riders are pretty fanatical about that anyway, so it shouldn't be too big a change. It is something you just want to keep in the back of your head. One of the other cool parts about these things too is if you do elect to run some air pressure in your tires themselves and you're out there on the trail, because you've moved the air chamber much closer now to the spokes themselves, what that means is that low pressure chamber can now be repaired just like a tubeless tire setup. So rather than carrying tubes and all the other associated junk with taking your wheels off of your motorcycle, 
All you need to carry is a basic plug type kit. Very simple, very light, very easy. You will not be actually doing much work to your motorcycle. You know, you'll, you'll wind up pulling out your, your plugs and just doing a standard tubeless tire string type repair to get home trail side. Really is pretty nice. And again, like I said, pinch flats kind of become a thing of the past. It's not something you have to concern yourself with. And if you're running a six ply tire, really, you can just ride home on a flat, which is kind of cool. I like this system. It's a great idea. It, it's something that I kind of wish I had thought of, and I'm surprised really that we've waited this long to see something like this. I don't know that I'm gonna run a set on my own bike. I'm sort of a traditional tube type guy, but this is absolutely awesome, and for the right person, this makes a lot of sense. Don't take my word for it though. Click that info button on your desktop or your mobile device. Read what some other riders who are rocking the new tech tubeless system on their bike have to say about it and see what they think. If you need a little bit more help, whether it's in regard to installation or perhaps product selection or figuring out if this might work well for your off-road riding style, don't be afraid to get in touch with us. You can get a Gear Geek, cs at revzilla.com or pick up the phone, 877-792-9455. We're here to help. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.